Hi, this is Danielle, the domestic scientist. In today's video, we're going to do a little bit of a decorate with me. And we're going to focus on my wet bar area in the back of my great room. Now, this space is a little bit daunting to me simply because uh, every time I put something on the countertop, it looks really great when I'm looking down at it. But when I back away and I see it in the grand scheme of the room, it seems like all the decor just seems to shrink. So I want to show you how I'm going to style the space, but I'm going to attempt to really bring your eye up so that it has a more full and dynamic look. So stay tuned. So earlier this season, I had been preparing to do a vintage tablescape and of course I went antiquing. I'm going to show you those two pieces that I found while antiquing that are really going to help make today's look because they were my inspiration. The first is this very large wine bottle from Noble Vines and this is a bottle of their Cabernet Sauvignon. Now this is a decorative bottle and as you can see, it is much larger than your standard wine bottle. So I'm going to use this piece because it's going to bring some height to my space and because I love the dark color. Um, I I have a light countertop area and I have fairly light paint on the walls and so it's very easy for my home decor to get a little bit washed out. So adding something that has this dark rich tone to it is going to add a lot of depth and dimension. So the second piece I found at my local antique store is this very large wine crate. Now I have a bit of a confession to make. I am not a big alcohol drinker. And so having a wet bar in my home was already a bit intimidating enough as is. And I was looking for something to really help me with the decorating. And I thought it would be really cool to have a wine theme, even though I don't know that much about wine. So when I saw this wine crate, I was really impressed because I like the uh, pattern that's on the top of the crate. Now this is where my last of knowledge about wine starts to come in. I've never actually purchased a crate of wine before so when I saw the wine crate in the store I was super excited and thought it was like an exotic piece or something but I was so wrong about that. But I was examining this piece in the store and I realized that you can actually remove the top and I thought that was really great for what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go ahead and start adding in my bottles. I have a few bottles of Welch's sparkling grape juice and those are really perfect if you want to have, you know, a romantic dinner or a festive celebration, but you don't want to serve alcohol. I am going to use two bottles of wine for today's video and actually happened to find both of these in my home after we closed escrow and they're about as old as the house is. So I thought that might have been just a gift from the homeowner. I found a bar tools kit at my local thrift store and I paid about $1.50 for those. So I'm going to add it to today's look as well. So if you haven't seen my uh, vintage home decor haul, I'll have a link in the description box as well. Um, I happened to find this wine bucket and I had the devil of a time trying to clean it up. In the wine bucket, I'm using some decorative crystals that are going to serve as kind of my ice and they're going to give me a bed or a platform to put in my wine bottle. So while at the antiques mall, I happened to go to one of the smaller booths and I saw a collection of nice wooden boxes that I was very impressed with. I happened to pick up two of them and one of them has this beautiful dark brown finish and I do love the engraving and the kind of decor on top. The front of the box though has a really beautiful metal medallion on it and so I decided this would make a perfect gift for my husband but as I was looking at it I realized it was a cigar box so neither myself or my husband has ever smoked a cigar but I thought the box was so gorgeous that I figured I would purchase it and potentially repurpose it down the road. So for the other side of my bar, I'm choosing to style a tiered tray. Now I'm using my tiered tray because it's the right size and scale for my space. Also the nice rich wood finishes are really consistent with what you would see in a lot of wineries. On my top row, I am going to put in my second cigar box. Now I found this cigar box and I chose to purchase it simply because the finish on the wood really looks a lot like the finish on my tiered tray. In front of that, I'm going to put in my corkscrew and of course my shot glass. 
So now I'm going to focus on the bottom tier of my tier tray. And I'm going to let you in on a little secret. At this point, I'm completely out of wine or alcohol related decor. So I'm just going to fill that bottom section with items that are decorative, but that kind of go with the color palette that I've already created. So I'm looking for things that are very masculine. I'm looking for things that are textured, that have very neutral colors, um, like neutral grays, neutral um, browns and earth tones, some pops of green, maybe a little bit of metallic and definitely some wooden elements. So my tip here is that if you are running out of items for your theme, you can just fill it in with other decorative items that kind of work with your color palette. And as time goes on and you find more, you know, wine related accessories, you can continue to build on your look. So the next item I found when I was out antiquing, I'm so excited about this set of decanter tags from a company called Mikasa. Now you might be familiar with Mikasa because they make gorgeous china and you can often find their items in local department stores, in particular your Macy's and your Dillard's. However, they have this set of decanter tags I found and these are so gorgeous and so well made. They really look like they could have come from Tiffany and company. Now a decanter tag is like a necklace or a label for your decanter. So if you're the type of person who wants to take your wine out of the wine bottle and pour it into a decanter for storage, then you would want to make sure you properly label them. Hence, they have decanter tags. These tags are lightly engraved and they say Merlot, Cabernet Sauvignon, and Bordeaux. Now, I don't have any of these wines in my home and I don't anticipate buying them anytime soon. So I am going to use these decanter tags as decorative pieces and I'm not worrying about appropriately labeling anything. So aren't these tags just gorgeous when you put them on the decanters? I absolutely love it and I'm so excited to be using it in today's video. So those are the major components that I used to style today's bar design. Now I'm going to go in and add some extra decorative elements for color and height. If you like what you've seen so far, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Now let's take a look at the final results. So as I was working on this design, I really wanted to create a focal point for the bar and that is to have a very beautiful vibrant centerpiece. Now I have this little lip on my bar between the edge of the sink and the edge of the bar and I'm choosing to put my centerpiece here but because it's a fairly narrow space, I am limited in the type of things that I can use. I decided to go with a very large lantern. Now I have this lantern that I got from Home Goods earlier this year and inside that lantern I have two pieces of mistletoe. Now if you've followed my channel, I do have a couple other videos where I style these mistletoe lanterns in different places around my house but this particular um, lantern lantern is the tallest one and I think it looks really great on the bar and so this is the permanent spot for the season. Now the lantern has some greenery in it and just a few small pops of red. So I wanted to make sure that I added a little bit more red to this design because I really wanted to keep those traditional red and green colors. So on the either end of my lantern I put in two pieces of pine um, that I got from Hobby Lobby and then I added another pine themed stem on top of it for some extra color and texture. Now right in the center of all of these floral stems that I've used, I put in one large piece of poinsettia and I love this red poinsettia with the gold glitter. I think it adds a beautiful focal point as well as a much needed splash of color. Now when it comes to the traditional red and green theme that I'm using around my home this year, I wanted to be sure to add lots of greenery to the bar. So in addition to adding my lantern with the mistletoe, I have two tabletop Christmas trees. Now as you're looking at all the images that I'm showing, you'll notice that those Christmas trees kind of move back and forth in some of the design because I was experimenting with where uh, they are best placed and honestly, I like like them and I think that they look great in every location that I've used them. 
So if you haven't already found one of these tabletop Christmas trees, I would encourage anyone to get some. I know that they're very affordable, especially at places like Target, and I think that they really are helpful for enhancing your tabletop decor. So let's talk about how I styled my wine glasses. Now I have a very large but plain set of wine glasses that I purchased years ago at Dollar Tree. And at the time I really just needed a large set that matched and I wasn't really worried about them being embellished or being really pretty because volume was more important at the time. So of course Dollar Tree is the perfect place to go under those circumstances. However, the glasses are just so plain that when I put them in the space, they just seem to disappear. Now, I also have a picture that I purchased from Walmart. And this picture was marketed as a two for one. You could use it to serve drinks out of, or you could also use it as a vase. So it was a versatile piece and very affordable. So I purchased that from Walmart around the same time that I purchased the wine glasses. But again, this piece is very transparent. There's no color. There's no embellishment so when I put it in the space it also seemed to disappear so how I try to overcome this and to style my wine glasses and my other transparent glass items is I want to make sure that whatever is setting behind them has a lot of color so I did use my wine bucket and also my tabletop Christmas trees to add some color and height but they're behind the wine glasses so that the wine glasses don't disappear in this look now when it comes to my pitcher, I wanted to actually fill it with something and I found a set of decorative wine corks at the antique mall. So I put them inside of my pitcher and I put it off to the side. Now even putting the wine glasses on top of the countertops, it really seemed to disappear as well. So I wanted to define the space and add a little bit more color underneath the wine glasses as well as behind the wine glasses. So I took the top of my wine crate and I'm now using it as a decorative tray. And so I think that all of the beautiful um, details on the top of the wine crate also add some additional detailing and styling to the look. So this design took me a couple of weeks to pull together because I had a considerable amount of shopping to do. But whenever I have a concept and I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do, I go ahead and I start doing a draft version of it just to see what I have, what works together, and what I'm still missing. So I'm going to just show you a clip of what I was working on in the beginning and I realized I definitely needed to get a couple of extra pieces. And so of course I went out antiquing. But one of the things that I was noticing is that no matter what I put on my bar top it just seemed to be so empty and part of the problem was that I didn't have any wall art behind the bar and so what I decided to do was to go hunting for some art I found some great pieces I just wasn't ready to commit to anything I wasn't sure if I wanted to get a permanent piece of wall art that was wine themed or if I wanted to go with more of a general piece of art so I opted to just use a seasonal wreath in the back and I think that that made a world of difference what do you think so I hope you've enjoyed today's decorate with me where I have styled my wine bar for the holidays now I'm Danielle the domestic scientist and I have a lifestyle channel here on YouTube I would love it if you join me along my journey so don't forget to like comment and subscribe I'll see you next time Thank mm -hmm. you.